Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick. I'm Damo. So today we've got another college football video for you. And this one is the best college football team ever. Um, it's a deep dive into 2019 LSU. Um, this was a Discord poll winner. So if you want to have your say on future videos, jump in Discord and have your say on, on future polls. Plenty of polls. We normally have at least a couple going up each week. Yeah. We've had a little insight to the 2019 LSU team because we saw the game between them and Alabama. Yes. So we know that there was a lot of NFL stars in this on both of those teams, to be fair. Yeah. But yeah, clear poll winner. Um, sounds great. B. Kelly, not too sure who this is, but after you've watched this, definitely give their channel a little look at. Yeah. And yeah, let's see what this is all about. Well, we know what it's about. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> A couple weeks ago, I made a YouTube video Definitely. where I talked about the 2020 LSU football team and what's happening to them this season. And in that video, I briefly mentioned the 2019 LSU football team that won the national championship and how I said they were arguably the best college football team of all time. Today, I'm going to take a deeper dive on that 2019 national champion LSU football team. Going into the 2019 college football season, the LSU Tigers were ranked as the second best team in the preseason polls in the SEC West Division just behind Alabama. And they had so. the third highest odds to win the SEC that season behind Alabama and <laughs> Georgia. The LSU Tigers were coming off a pretty decent 2018 season when they went 10-3 and and even won the Fiesta Bowl versus the proclaimed 2017 National Champions of UCF. Nice. LSU was seen as a pretty good football team, but nobody really expected them to win the SEC really that much or even be in the college football playoff at that. If you would ask people going into the 2019 college football season who they thought would be in the SEC championship game, it was a pretty clear-cut answer between Alabama and Georgia. But despite all these projections where people had Alabama and Georgia in the SEC championship game and even some instances where they were both in the college football playoff, LSU would make them in even some instances where they were both... Is that the... Is that Justin Jefferson? I don't know. I don't know. Is it because the helmet's blocking him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw his face, so I know it was him. Yeah. Is that Justin Jefferson? He might take us through this, to be fair. It's quite early on, but yeah, yeah. that's the first name. I've been keeping an eye on the names because I've been thinking there's a lot of NFL stars that came out of this. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he had a great season in the Both NFL the last season. the college football playoff, LSU would make sure to shut the critics up, which they did. I mean, they went 15-0. and 0. They won the SEC. Wow. They won the national Crazy. championship. They had the best offense in all of college football, averaging 48 points a game. And they only gave up 21.9 points a game with the 32nd best defense in all of college football, which is pretty good. It seemed like every game LSU played in the 2019 college football season, they were just unstoppable and no one could stop them at all. They were just that dominant overall. And it definitely showed in the college football playoff when they won their first game 63-28 to over a very good Oklahoma wow. team. Even though they had some injuries and suspended players, 63-28, to there's no excuse for that. Even based on those numbers he gave, doesn't exactly seem like the strongest defense, I would say. But they'll just outscore you. Almost reminds yeah. me of Liverpool about a decade ago, you yeah. know, like no defense, but we're just out score you. And <laughs> yeah. it seems like that's what this is very much about. Because yeah, those scoring numbers are insane. Then they go into the national championship game and beat Clemson convincingly, forty-two to twenty-five. Right after this season, people would call this LSU Jabari football Harris. team one of the best college football teams of all time, and even some saying it was the best. But how stacked was this LSU football team? First off, this LSU football team tied an NFL draft record in the 2020 NFL draft when they had 14 players selected from the national championship wow. team. Not only wow. that, there'd be six undrafted free agents that'd be picked up right after the draft. This LSU 20. football team That's had crazy. a total of five players drafted in the first round. Joe Burrow, Calavon Chasson, Justin Jefferson, Patrick Queen, and Clyde Justin Edwards Jefferson. Hilaire. The other players selected outside of the first round are Grant Delpit, Christian Fulton, Damian Lewis, Lloyd Cushenberry, Jacob Phillips, Sadiq Charles, Rashad Lawrence, Blake Ferguson, and Steven Sullivan. Although that they tied the record for the most people getting drafted by a team in the NFL draft, it wasn't just that for LSU. 
They were also breaking records during the college football season, and it seemed like they were winning every award with their team. Joe? What's that dance they're doing? What dance? It, I don't know. Like it's not training, is it? Oh, I don't know. What, I don't know what oh, it keeps on coming in, the clips. What, what is that? Is that like, I'm guessing it's an LSU tradition of some sort. It's where everyone's like, no, they're warming up, you idiot. <laughs> During the college football no, this season, thing. and it seemed like they were winning every award with their team. <laughs> Joe Burrow had an amazing 2019 college football season. This dude was absolutely unstoppable, and he was the best player in all of college football. And it seemed like he won literally every award that he was eligible to win. And it definitely yeah, shows really if you movie. watched him play and if you look at his stats. For the 2019 college football season, <laughs> He completed 76% of his passes, throwing for 5,671 yards with wow. 60 touchdowns and only six interceptions. And the awards wow, he won was the Heisman that Trophy, Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award, AP National Player of the Year, Walter Camp Award, Davey O'Brien Award, Maxwell Award, and the Manning Award. Jamar Chase. Wow. He led the LSU t can you look up the NFL 2020 draft? I want to see if Joe Burrow, based on that, was the number one pick. Because obviously quarterbacks normally high up on the agenda. Yeah, I think he would have been. So you think 20... Yeah, I was hoping he was going to tell us. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, yeah. Who yeah. took him? Bengals. Bengals. Tigers in the 2019 college football season in receiving yards and receiving touchdowns. And it was to no one's surprise when he won the Boletnikoff Award that goes to the best receiver in the season for college football after he had 1,780 receiving yards, averaging 21 yards per reception and 20 touchdowns. Grant Delpit would win the Jim Thorpe Award in this season, which goes to the best defensive back in all of college football. He had an insane season. He had 65 total tackles, four and a half tackles for loss, two sacks, two interceptions, seven pass deflections, one fumble recovery, and one forced fumble. Also, right now in the 2020 NFL season, uh, quite a bit of the rookies from the LSU football team that got drafted in the 2020 NFL draft are playing some pretty good football right now. Joe Burrow so far this season has completed 65% of his passes thrown for 2,688 yards with 13 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. Unfortunately, his rookie season did end this past Sunday due to tearing his ACL versus the Washington football team. Justin Jefferson is also balling out in the NFL right now. He is one of the better receivers in the NFL this season and maybe even the top He's rookie receiver this season, I've in seen my him. opinion. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get a lot of receptions. He only has 45 receptions on the season in 10 games, but he has 848 receiving yards and four receiving touchdowns and is a vital part of the Minnesota Vikings offense. Patrick Queen, who was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in the end of the first round, is also eating up the NFL competition. In 10 games he's played so far with the Ravens, he's been one of the better defensive players this season for the Baltimore Ravens. He has 70 total tackles, two sacks, two fumble recoveries, two forced fumbles, and he has one pass deflection as well. Christian Fulton with the Tennessee Titans is playing pretty well as well with 15 total tackles, one sack, one interception, and one pass deflection. Now, not all the LSU Tigers that were selected in the 2020 NFL Draft are just destroying the NFL competition just like the few that are playing pretty well right now because not all rookies play good immediately in the NFL and that is just known. But I would say a lot of the LSU Tigers that are currently rookies in the NFL for the 2020 college football season are living up to their expectations or even exceeding them. I don't know about you all, but I definitely think this 2019 LSU Tigers college football team was definitely one of the best college football teams of That's all cool. time and that maybe well cool, even be it? the best team but i'm not going to give them the best college football team ever label some might i'm not because i didn't see all the other college football teams play oh it's a night what? game as well isn't it that's the outside that's a really yeah. bad pause oh, <laughs> you can see yeah, it better yeah. there yeah. <coughs> yeah it's a night game that's quality Nice. Well, some might. I'm not because I didn't see all the other college so the doors open teams play. It's <laughs> yeah. But I do think 10 years Sounds down fun. the line, there may be a clear, concise decision on if this was the best college football team ever. I mean, look at the roster and look what happened in the 2019 college football season. They had so many stars, they broke so many records, and they just 
seemed like they were killing everyone they played. And the thing is, this is probably the best LSU Tigers football yeah. team in school's history. And I don't know when they're ever going to replicate a season like this in their school's history again. Because the recent allegations that are against their program right now seem like they might get a very similar thing to Baylor where... Basically, Baylor's program didn't die, but the football team came from a very good football team to a very bad one, and they're just now starting to rebuild and come back. I mean, they had their first really good stadium. season this past season, yeah, so nice. and we saw how LSU <laughs> right now is kind of falling apart this season just because of all the talent they lost. I mean, they're a pretty young team. But if they start getting in trouble with all these allegations they have now, the future, in my opinion, really does not seem to be the brightest. I feel like he just dropped a bombshell at the end there. Yeah, what, I was going to ask, what, 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 what were the allegations? What were the allegations? No, I don't know, mate. I ain't got a clue. No, I'm asking them, mate. No, that was great. I mean, yeah, you can't... I mean, I only recognise a few of the stars, unfortunately, because we haven't done our first season yet. First season no. is coming up. We are buzzing. Yeah, I can't wait. For that. But yeah, definitely. I mean, Justin Jefferson, the main one for me, I've seen quite a bit of him from yeah. last season. And I mean, he was just catching everything. Yeah, not everything. So that'd, be, <laughs> that'd be mad, wouldn't it? But yeah, no, he he was brilliant. He yeah, was, was really, really, good, really, have, really good for the Vikings. To have that many players drafted speaks speaks for itself. Yeah, so definitely. Like, yeah, no, crazy. those stats from Joe Burrow, crazy. Yeah, what absolutely season? crazy. What season? But um, but no, really, really enjoyable watch. Interesting watch. Learned. Feel like I picked up quite a lot from that. And yeah, as with LSU, yeah. I just love any LSU fans watching. Love your stadium. Yeah, absolutely stadium. love it. But yeah, thank you very much for, I say suggesting that, it smashed the poll. So yeah, if you weren't really into that too much, get yourself on Discord, as Nick said earlier on. Get involved with those polls, have your say. Definitely. Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate you being with us for this one. Please do like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.